Hey, what's going on? I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com, and today I'm going to show you a really cool tip how to turn off the auto expose slash auto focus on your iPhone's camera. What that means is when you launch your camera, you get this nice little box that comes up, and it's focusing right now. And let's say you wanted to focus one time and then turn it off and, fo and take a, a whole bunch of pictures with it focused how it is. So let's say you want to take a picture of your dog and you wanted to take them really quickly or whatever the case. I'm going to show you how to focus once and then leave it there for a while. So what it's going to do is just when you tap on it, obviously that's auto focusing. You're telling it where to focus. And if you, fo if you focus on darker things, it'll brighten the picture because of the exposure. And if you focus on lighter things, it's going to darken it. So that's cool. Now let's say you want to focus on something and leave it. Like let's say I want to focus on this carpet. Instead of see how it keeps on going back to this white because it's in the middle of the picture. But I want to focus on the carpet. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap and hold. And you can see it starts uh, throbbing kind of. I don't know what the correct word would be. But it started that and then it says auto uh, focus and auto uh, exposure lock. Or just A and E and A and F. Um, so it's got the lock on right now. So anywhere I point the camera, it's going to take the picture focused and exposed how it is. So if I point at this white spot stuff, doesn't matter. It's still focused on the same exposure and the same focus as I had it before. So no matter what I pointed at, it's going to stay the same. So uh, it can take pictures quicker because it's not going to be focusing every time in between. So as you can see, this is with an iPhone 4. I'm just snapping and you can just snap right away. And so if there's a moment that you really want to get, you could focus once and then uh, snap away. Now, uh, this obviously would have drawbacks because your pictures could be out of focus. But if you know what you're doing, uh, it could be really nice. So I'm Daniel. You can follow me at twitter.com slash tip underscore Daniel. And I hope you guys have a great day. Come visit the site. Today's iPhone.com.